Hey guys and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to factory reset your iMac by Apple. This is a 2023 version. Most of the time you will put it in boot recovery, which is command and R. But being that the iMacs 2023s do not have USBs, they only have a type C port. So I'm going to show you step by step on how to factory reset this without using any keyboard. Trust me, I've used a lot of keyboards and I came to the conclusion you do not need a keyboard. You just need to file these simple steps. So right here I did buy a keyboard that was a USB-C wired keyboard that was specifically for Apple. So right here we're going to activate the Mac. So I'm going to show you first off on it did work. So I'm going to put in my network settings. So you want to put your Wi-Fi settings in. We want to activate that. So you'll just wait a second to activate that. So what I did was previously um, I tried to use the command R on every keyboard that I had. But being that this only uses a type C keyboard um, when your keyboard goes off when the iMac goes off it does not come back on fast enough to add the command R button so right now I'm just gonna reinstall the OS which is Sonoma so right now it's gonna say it's gonna install the Mac OS Sonoma we're gonna click on continue this process does take a while. It does say three to four hours, but I won't go the whole three to four hours. I will clip it and I'll go right from this part to when we go a little bit sooner. So this one, you do not need a keyboard. The only kind of keyboard that you would actually need would be just to switch from the personal settings to your HD. So I'm gonna show you that. So right now we're gonna go through the setup, install the software. We're gonna click on next, accept the terms and conditions. We're gonna click on the HD next. So all your new Sonoma will be installed into your current drive. So this one here says over three and a half hours. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let this restart and then I'll come back. And then once I come back, this should be already installed and then we'll go through step-by-step step and installing it as if this is a brand new Mac. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and I will come back once that gets done. All right, so now it's been set it back to factory settings. We're gonna click on our country, which right now I'm in the United States. So I'm gonna click on United States, go to next, and then I'm just gonna set it up later, but I'm just gonna walk you through it. We're just gonna click on next and skip this, click our Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna pick on my Wi-Fi, add in the password, and then it should take us to more settings. So we're just gonna exit out of there and re-put the password in. So now we got our data and privacy, migration assistance. We're just going to skip that for right now because I don't want to back it up. I just wanted it factory reset. So click on that now. Sign in with your Apple ID. Again, I'm going to do this later. So we're going to agree to the terms and conditions. And it says you have read the software OS license agreement. Click yes. Create your computer account. So this is where you'll enter your name, your account name, password, and a hint. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to enable location services. And then analytics. You can send that to Apple or you don't have to. Screen time. Again, we're going to set this up later. Siri, we're going to go ahead and set this up right now. We're going to pick the voice. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi. I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. You push it later in system settings. All right, so we are going to set up this series. So we just got to say what is on the screen. So I'm just waiting for it to acknowledge my voice. Again, we're going to say, hey, Siri, send a message. And then it's going to ask a couple more prompts. What time is it in three minutes? Set a timer for three minutes. Again, it's recognizing your voice. And it has another one, hey Siri, get directions from home. The typical when you first start up your computer, play some music. So this is just recognizing your voice. So whenever you call her name, she recognizes your voice. So now that it's all ready, and then you can improve the Siri and dictation. You can do it now or not now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on not now and then click on continue. And then we'll choose our look. I like to go automatic. So during the day, it has light. At nighttime, it'll go dark mode. So right now we are on the screen. This is factory reset. So now what we're gonna do is take this and go into how I did it. So let's go step by step. So right here, what you wanna do is you wanna grab the button, hold down the button so the whole computer turns down. So it'll turn off. 
So continue to hold it, it'll automatically turn off. So what you wanna do is you wanna turn it off. Wait a second. Now you wanna hold down this power button. Sorry, the screen is a little dirty. So right now it'll say, keep continue to hold down for options. So you want the options to start up, just continue holding it. You'll see the Apple logo turn on. This whole time you wanna just keep holding down the power button. So you got HD and then you got options. You wanna use your keyboard. This is the only time you'll use your keyboard over the over button because your mouse does not work. So you wanna click on the over button and then click on the options by hitting the enter button. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna take you into a reset Mac options. So the screen that you see here on mine is a little different. It'll say another screen will pop up and it'll say um, erase disc. So what you wanna do is erase disc. So when you redo it again, you'll get this screen. So I've already done it, so I'm not gonna do it again. You're just gonna click on the install software and that is super easy to do. Again, you just hold down the power button until you get the options. Once you get the options choice, you'll have a part where it says erase disc. You wanna erase the whole entire disc. This way you do not need to do the command R because I've used several different keyboards to do the command R. And because the keyboard itself is a little bit late than when you turn on the iMac, it doesn't have time to enter the command R. So this is the easiest way to set an iMac. This one here does have a type C port. So if you have a USB port on the back of your iMac, you can use the command R on any keyboard. But if you have the type C, this is the only options to do reset of your Mac in case you forget your administration password. So you just hold down the power button until you get the options menu. Then the options menu, you'll click and then you can erase it. If you've done it before, then it'll give you the screen like you see on my screen screen which it gives you to reinstall the OS. So I hope this has helped you to refactory set your iMac. This is a super easy way as long as you go step by step and I thank you for watching.